हेलो गाइस दिस गेट लेक्चर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स ऑन टॉपिक मेथड ऑफ वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर्स इज ब्रॉट टू बाय लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री डॉट कॉम हे गाइस दिस इज द टेंथ लेक्चर ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन सीरीज इफ यू हैवंट सीन आवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर देन आई विल रिकमेंड यू टू वॉच दैट ऑल्सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी अबाउट दिस मैथड एंड वी विल सी वन सैम्पल क्वेश्चन of this method if you want to see the more questions then you can download my handwritten notes from my website lecturesforfree.com okay so let's uh, start this method to understand this method let's consider one second order differential equation let's suppose uh, we have second order differential equation like this d square y upon dx square plus k1 into dy upon dx plus k2y is equal to capital x let's suppose we have second order differential equation like this where where k1 and uh, where k1 and k2 are the constants k1 and k2 are the some some constants okay and uh, capital x here is the some function of x it is some function of x okay so uh, by using this uh, differential equation uh, by using this left hand side we can get the auxiliary equation means uh, we will we can get a function of d equal to 0 okay and by using this auxiliary equation uh, if we will find the we can find the root of this auxiliary equation okay and by observing the root we can calculate the complementary function of this equation okay complementary function of this equation will depend on the root of auxiliary equation okay um, let's see the here like uh, if you will get this type of roots then uh, we will get this type of complementary function okay as we have uh, seen it uh, in my earlier lecture okay so we can calculate the complementary function let's suppose our complementary function is like this complementary function is like uh, c1 or let's uh, here something will multiplied let call it as a y1 okay and uh, and uh, since it is the second order differential equation so we will get two roots here so we will get another constant here c2 and uh, whatever multiplied here let's call it as a y2 okay so this is the complementary function and uh, here i am calling it is a y1 i am calling it as a y2 okay so now to calculate the to calculate the complete solution complete solution means y is equal to we have to calculate the complementary function we have a, we can calculate like this complementary function and we also have to calculate the particular integral okay so to calculate the particular integral we can calculate by using this y1 and y2 okay now let's see how we can calculate the particular integral by using this y1 and y2 let's suppose i am calling particular integral is equal to a into y1 plus b into y2 okay so we can here we can um, find the value of a and b a we can calculate by using this formula a is equal to minus capital x capital x divided by w into y2 dx okay by using this formula we can calculate a and b we can calculate by using this formula integration of capital x upon w into y1 into dx okay so by using this formula we can calculate a and b we can calculate a and b but here we we are seeing one new term w here 
we know what is y2 we know what is capital x but here one new term is introduced w so let's see what w is here w is your w is equal to your uh, determinants of y1 y2 y1 days and y2 days determinants of y1 y2 y1 days and y2 days where y1 and y2 is the uh, this thing means uh, this thing y1 and y2 and y1 days and y2 days represent the first difference uh, derivative of y1 and first derivative of y2 okay so by using this we can calculate w and uh, after calculating w by using this formulas a and b we can calculate a and b when we, we we will find the value of a and b then we will keep the value of a and b in this equation then we will get the particular integral so after getting a particular integral we can find complete solution means i can write complete solution is equal to complementary function plus particular integral so i can write it like y is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus a y1 plus b y2 or if i will simplify it i can write it like a c1 plus a into y1 and c2 plus b into y2 okay so like this we will get the complete solution by using method of variation of parameters okay so now let's see one example one sample question related to this uh, method question is your solve y double days plus y is equal to sec x okay this is your question so to solve this like here it is your uh, you this sec x is representing your capital x here uh, we can get function of d y is equal to capital x okay so we can write it like a d square plus 1 into y okay here double differentiation is means d square we will write and uh, there is no differentiation means it we will simply write 1 and into y okay is equal to sec x okay so in this method we have to first calculate the complementary function so to calculate the complementary function we will get it by roots of auxiliary equation so here our auxiliary equation will be f of d is equal to 0 means d square plus 1 is equal to 0 so from this equation we will get d is equal to plus minus 1 from this we will get d is equal to sorry d square is equal to we will get minus d square is equal to minus 1 okay so d is equal to we will get plus minus i okay it is minus 1 so we will get uh, root of minus 1 means plus minus i okay so it is a like a complex function okay like it's like 0 plus um, plus minus i okay so it's a complex number alpha plus i beta so when we will get complex root okay pair of imaginary roots alpha plus i beta alpha minus i beta then we will get complementary function like this e to the power alpha x c1 cross beta x plus c2 sin beta x in this question alpha is your 0 so it is power 0 means uh, we will get 1 we will get only this term c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x so you can write it like a uh, complementary function is equal to e to the power alpha x here alpha is your 0 so means e to the power 0 c1 cos beta x beta is your 1 like if we are comparing it is like alpha plus i beta so here alpha is 0 beta is 1 and uh, we are uh, putting this formula like here e to the power alpha x plus c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x okay this one it is uh, for a pair of imaginary roots okay so c1 cos c1 cos uh, here beta is your 1 
तो C1 वन कॉस बॉय एक्स सिंपली एक्स ओके प्लस सी टू साइन एक्स ओके तो यू कैन राइट कंप्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू इट पॉवर जीरो मीन्स वन यू कैन राइट सी वन कॉस एक्स प्लस सी टू साइन एक्स ओके सो इफ यू विल कंपेयर दिस विथ लाइक अवर कंप्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू सी वन वाई वन प्लस सी टू वाई टू ओके सो इफ यू विल कंपेयर दिस विथ दिस सो यू विल गेट वाई वन इज इक्वल टू कॉज एक्स एंड वाई टू इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स ओके यू गॉट कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन एंड द इन कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन यू गॉट वाट इज वाई वन एंड वाट इज वाई टू सो नाउ टू कैलकुलेट द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल यू हैव टू फाइंड लाइक ए वाई वन प्लस बी वाई टू यू हैव टू फाइंड ए एंड बी एंड वाट इज योर ए एंड बी ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ माइनस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स डिवाइड बाई डब्ल्यू इन टू वाई टू डी एक्स एंड बी इज इक्वल टू इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एक्स डिवाइड बाई डब्ल्यू इन टू वाई वन इन टू डी एक्स सो टू कैलकुलेट ए एंड बी फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द डब्ल्यू देन ओनली वी कैन कैलकुलेट ए एंड बी ओके सो एज वी नो फ्रॉम इक्वेशन लाइक डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू योर डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑफ वाई वन वाई टू वाई वन डेज एंड वाई टू डेज वेयर वाई वन डेज इज द फर्स्ट डेरीवेटिव ऑफ वाई वन वाई टू डेज मीन्स फर्स्ट डेरीवेटिव ऑफ वाई टू ओके सो एज वी नो वाट इज वाई वन हियर वाई वन इज योर हियर कॉज एक्स एंड वाई टू इज योर साइन एक्स ओके वाई वन वाई टू वी नो दो लेट सेट इट वाई वन इज इक्वल टू कॉज एक्स कॉज एक्स y2 टू इज इक्वल टू साइन एक्स एंड डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ वाई वन डेज मीन्स डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई वन तो डिफ्रेंसिएट दिस डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ कॉज एक्स इज योर माइनस साइन एक्स ओके वाई टू डेज मीन्स फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वाई टू सो डिफ्रेंसिएट दिस साइन एक्स डिफ्रेंसिएशन इज कॉज एक्स ओके सो इफ यू विल गेट determinant of this then uh, cos square x and minus and here again minus 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 plus so you will get cos square x plus sin square x okay and uh, we know sin square x plus cos square x is equal to your it is your 1 we know the formula that sin square x plus cos square x means 1 so we got w is equal to 1 okay now we now we know the w, what is w so now calculate a and b by using these formulas so let's uh, first of all calculate the a a is equal to your minus integration of capital x upon w into y2 into dx so let's uh, put the value of x w and y2 here your capital x is your uh, what is your capital x as we know from the equation this is this is the capital x sec x okay so sec is sec x is your capital x right here capital x is your sec x divided by w w is here 1 okay and y2 as we know what is y2 here y2 is your sin x y2 is sin x so let's write it into sin x into dx so minus sec x is your 1 by cos x means it, this is you represents your sin x upon cos x so sin x upon cos x is your integration of tan x dx and uh, as we know as we know uh, integration of tan x is your log sec x or you can write it like uh, if you want to remove the minus sign then you can write it like log cos x okay if you want to remove the minus sign then uh, 1 by sec x means cos x which we can write like this also log cos x so this is is your a now what is your b b is integration of capital x w um, 
Just see here, in A there is a minus sign and B there is no minus sign. Okay, here per plus sign. Uh, just uh, uh, keep it uh, at, keep it in your mind that uh, in A comes with minus sign and here B is uh, comes with positive sign. Okay, capital X W into Y1 and then DX. Okay, so our capital X is here sec X. W is 1 and Y2 sorry Y1 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 as we know from here our Y1 is cos X okay so let's write it our Y1 is cos X dx as we know sec X means 1 upon cos X 1 upon cos X into cos X means 1 it will cancel it each other and you will get like this integration of 1 into dx integration of 1 into dx means x so you got the a you got the b you got the y1 you got the y2 so complete solution complete solution you can write it like a c1 plus a into y1 plus c1 or c2 plus b into y2 okay complete solution is here as we have seen or complete solution is like this y1 plus a into sorry c1 plus a into y1 plus c2 plus b into y2 so now write the complete solution c1 plus a into y1 plus c2 plus b into y2 here we know the what is a what is y1 okay c1 is constant so let's write c1 capital a is your uh, here um, log cos x okay so write it capital x is your log cos x into y1 what is y1 here uh, your y1 is cos x your y1 is cos x so here into cos x plus c2 c2 is constant so let's write it like c2 b here as we can see b is your capital b is, b is your x so write it x into y2 what is y2 here y2 is your sin x okay so this is your complete solution okay thank you guys for watching this and uh, you can download more sample questions from my website uh, more solved questions from under my handwritten notes and uh, you can ask uh, any question me there also okay and uh, comment uh, about my video and uh, you can thank you so much guys